Good evening, everyone. Plenty of reasons to expect a compelling contest tonight here on the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pac de Pass. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And all set to bring you live action from Liga Uber Eats coming right up. It's Paris Saint Germain, and they take on Stade de Reims. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Fabian Ruiz, number six, Marco Verratti. Le numéro 10, Neymar. Le numéro 30, Lionel Messi. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Marquinhos plays with Sergio Ramos at the back. Vitor Ferreira starts alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And leading the line, Lionel Messi plays alongside Kylian Mbappe. And a look at the starting lineup for Reims. Well, in this shape, if they're wide players, stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And so the battle commences. Well, he keeps going. Hakimi. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Messi. And the danger is averted. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. An exciting talent who has everything a forward needs to be successful. Stuart, what are you expecting to see from Mbappe? Well, he's their leading goal scorer because his space awareness in tight areas is so good. He just has that knack of knowing where the ball will drop. And I'm not sure you can teach that. Messi. Mbappe. Now Neymar. And that is going to be a free kick. Lionel Messi. Minge. And space to cross it. Mbappe. So near, but wide. Mbappe, PSG looking dangerous, crossing opportunity, well far from the ideal pass, Lionel Messi, a oh, good hit, close shave.
Aber Zanelli and teammates around him. Can they take advantage? Trying to chisel a chance out of it. Marshal Munetzi. Terrific block. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Mbappe. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Well, they know they need to stop him. And players waiting in the centre. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Nicely timed tackle. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? And a throw in forthcoming. Azor Matusiwa. Giving it a try. Making sure it didn't get past him. Well, the visitors have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes and created a hat full of chances. But when you're enjoying that amount of possession, you need oh, to make Stuart, it count. opportunity here. Just can't get it past him. Great pressure to win the ball back. Ito. Dumbia. Still passing it around with authority. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Mbappe. Hakimi. Now Verratti. Return to Mbappe. And a body in the way. And it could be an opportunity for PSG to take the lead from a corner. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. The delivery from Neymar. Has time to get the shot off. And a significant block following that cross. Well, they do like to press whenever they can. Dumbia. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Messi. Verratti now. Mbappe. He's got to score! And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Favouring the short one. Vitor Ferreira. On to Messi. A corner will ensue. Keen to take it short here. The corner kicks keep on coming.
Let's see about the delivery. Not really the ideal clearance. Sergio Ramos. Very quick thinking there. And that is that for the first half here in the French capital. Well, it's not the usual storyline as regards Lionel Messi, Stuart. He's not really making the impact we thought he would before a ball was kicked. Yeah, you're right. He's looked a bit lethargic today. I'd like to see him demanding the ball more, working the defenders harder, and unless he does that, I can't see him affecting the scoreline here. Into the second half here at the Parc des Princes. Vitor Ferreira. Here's Fabian. Ramos. Promising attack, this. Mbappe. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Pereira. Neymar. And this might not be the ideal situation for them. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Really a very poor ball. And Neymar. Shot attempted. Putting his body on the line. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Ferreira. And forward this time goes Neymar with options aplenty. But nothing comes of it. Now can they counter clinically? Same story. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Nicely timed tackle. Thirty minutes left for play. Patient build-up at the moment. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Well, the attack looks promising. And he takes it on! It could be up for grabs. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Substitution time it is here. Messi. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Not the pass he had in mind. Opportunity it is. And he clears it out of harm's way. Verratti. Now with Fabian. Determined defending. Can they get in behind them? Well, he put the cross into the right place, but no one able to finish it off. And now that play has stopped, the referee can administer the booking. Neymar. Message pour les parents du petit Hugo Rivanon qui attend ses parents à la porte 28. Mbappé. We're getting the ball forward. And Lionel Messi has turned infield. Well, just narrowly wide of the post that time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lionel Messi. Fabian. Ito. Maxime Bussi. And he has options available. Crossing into the middle. Well, able to survive that attacking push. And the emphasis is on creativity. Mbappe. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. Balogun. Could be a chance to break here. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Can they forge ahead? No! And all because of the goalkeeper. Margins, margins. Well, he has done well there, but he should have won the game. They probably won't get another chance now. And there's the delivery. And clears the danger. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. Five minutes remaining then, and the score sheet remains blank. Tension building still level. An unforced error, you've got to say. Now can they counter clinically? Defenders need to cover. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Mbappe, can he put them in front? No is the answer to the question, and that could be so important at this stage. Well, will they get another chance? That would surely have won the game for them. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. And that will do it for this game anyway, and it goes into the history books as a victory for Paris Saint-Germain. What did you think of their performance? Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team, and they deserved their victory. And it's all been a little bit quiet on the Kylian Mbappe front in this match, Stuart. Well, I thought he was well marked today, but it did give other players that little bit more space to play, and they certainly made the most of it. That's why they got the victory.